so uh, hello friends and uh, this is the angular code basically to angular code to uh, plot the html table and and to convert the data inside the table into excel and uh, by button click we'll upload this uh, that excel converted excel into on, on into node server so let's check the code so you can see uh, uh, inside the constructor we just fill uh, we just run a for loop and we just bind the excel data array uh, we bind uh, objects 20 times uh, inside excel data array so you can see inside for loop uh, we create a object uh, for every iteration and we just push inside excel data array so we have data inside excel data like id name uh, email everything uh, inside obj and step by step we push all those inside excel data array and that excel data is bind on in the table uh, by using ng4 uh, so this is ng4 and you can see uh, we just look through excel data and bind all those things and this is the header and so this is the table how we bind uh, data inside a table and you can see there is a button uh, and it call the convert excel method so so this is the button and on click uh, we call the convert excel button so let's check the convert excel button so we have data inside table and that data should be converted into uh, excel format so for this uh, to converting the excel we just import the xls plugin uh, to installing this you have to just run command npm i xlx excel sx so this you have to install so um you can you can also search on the google how we can you can install this uh, this is a very popular plugin so we just import this uh, xls and after this uh, we just define the define the file type uh, for the file type uh, we have this uh, this is the excel file type and also the extension will be this so we have two things here defined file type and file extension and we have import the xls x plugin here so now uh, we have to check the convert excel method so you can see uh, this is this line for showing the loader only so it's not affect add any functionality for the downloading excel it just to show the loader only now we just write this code uh, first we have create the worksheet uh, by the json to sit json to sit method uh, inside json to sit method we just uh, pass as a parameter excel data excel data is nothing but the, but the array of object so it it is just return the worksheet object and and also we have to uh, define the workbook so we have to define worksheet and workbook uh, like this and after this after defining workbook and worksheet uh, we have to write the data inside that particular worksheet uh, worksheet so uh, you can see we call the xlex xlex uh, write method and inside write with method we pass the workbook and also we have to define some property uh, like what what would the what would be the book type and what is the type of the data type is array and book type is this so uh, so make sure you, you have to define worksheet workbook and after this you have to call the write method of the xls xls is defined uh, import uh, on the top on the import section uh, here here you def, uh, just import the xlex and we have call all the method of this then so after this uh, we have to get the blob data so after uh, after these steps we have to call a blob method uh, we have to create a blob object and inside blob uh, we have to basically pass the buffer excel buffer excel buffer we get from the write method so write method return the excel buffer uh, and that excel buffer will be uh, put inside here so and the second parameter is type what would the type of the blob so we already define the file type file type is this this is the file type 
so for the excel you have to define this type of file file type so after this uh, we have the blob data and blob data after the getting blob data we, we have to convert that blob into uh, uh, base 64 string so base 64 to get base 64 through blob uh, we define the <coughs> file reader object and file reader object have uh, a method read as data url so inside read as data url you have to pa pass blob data in as a parameter so reader will be read uh, as a base 64 of that par particular uh, blob data so after, when the reader is complete when the reader read all those things we have a event on load on load end so it will execute and it will return the result as a base 64 data so we have base 64 data here of by by using file reader and file reader uh, will get blob and blob will be converted by the in the inside in base 64 data so after getting base 64 data we call a upload method so now we have the base 64 of that uh, excel converted excel now we call the upload method and upload we pass the base 64 data so let's check the upload method so upload method we just uh, get the node.js url uh, api url and we put headers here uh, content type and we have to pass the input uh, define a proper de define an object which we have to pass inside the api so inside the object is base 64 string and the extension what would be, what would be the extension extension is this so this is the extension basically and and first one is base 64 so we have base 64 and the extension inside the object now we call the http post method uh, to call the api so we have url we have the body uh, body and we pass the headers and response type we received from the api is text so this is this this http post method will call the api and upload to the upload that excel uh, base 64 to the um, node.js server so uh, so uh, this uh, method will send base 64 string so on the node.js api we will get base 64 string and convert into that particular file so let's check the uh, node.js code uh, node.js code is this nothing but it in node.js code so inside node.js uh, you can see we have the upload uh, api and we receive the base 64 extension and we create a file name with the current date dot now dot string and we bind, uh, append the file extension so we have the file name now we have just put a condition a check that is the base 64 is here or not so if the base 64 is available we just split the first comma uh, of the base 64 and uh, we call the fs fs is nothing but uh, a file system uh, library of the node.js so we call the fs write file and we write inside the public files folder public file folder is this so the converted excel will be saved inside this folder so fs dot write file get first parameter in public files second one would be the file name and third one will be uh, a splitted uh, a string of the basic report so that is array one and uh, and fourth one which what what is the data you received uh, so this is base 64 uh, type of the data is base 64 which you want to convert and it, it returns a callback function uh, and if there is error it will show the error otherwise it will uh, store the file converted file so this is the this api is responsible to convert the base 64 and and save into uh, excel format uh, in, in into this folder we, i will show you demo uh, uh, later so <clears throat> and after converted the excel file it just returned the uh, url of that particular file uh, public url of that particular file so currently this is a local host so we write here we write the local host and it's running on the port 3000 so we write here the local host like this so now let's check uh, on the browser so you can see uh, this is the table and let's up click on upload
so you can see uh, it uploaded at this so let's check the node.js uh, code uh, you can see uh, we have the file here uh, with the name let's reveal in the file explorer and let's open so you can see the data is here so this is the way you can convert html data into a node excel file and upload to the node.js so hope you like this if you like this please subscribe to the channel like the video we'll be back soon